There are various methods to audition sounds in the FM3 when using FM3 Edit. Knowing a few shortcuts makes a huge difference in how quickly you can find the guitar tones you are searching for. Some menus such as the Drive, Amp, Delay, or reverb types have many options and clicking the pin allows you to audition the various types without leaving the pop-up list. Without clicking the pin the pop-up disappears every time you make a selection and you will need to click on the type box again to make changes. Other menus such as the compressor, wah, phaser and tremolo panner types in this preset do not have the option to pin the pop-up menu open. This adds extra steps if you want to quickly audition the different effect types. A quicker method is to click on the effect type so that a dash box surrounds the selection. You can then use the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard to scroll through each effect type. This is much faster than having to constantly open the menu every time you want to make changes. The dashed box and arrow keys on your keyboard approach also works as an alternative to clicking the pin as mentioned previously. You can also use the arrow keys method for most other parameters. As an example I can easily audition various settings in the preamp section on the amp block. I could audition the boost type, the preamp tube type, the tone stack type or the tone stack location. Not opening large menus or smaller pop-up boxes makes auditioning sound so much quicker. You can also use the arrow keys method to adjust any of the knobs and for more finely tuned adjustments hold the command key on a Mac to refine your knob twiddling. Another useful time for using the arrow keys is when auditioning cabs. You could choose the cab picker and click on the pin, although you can also click on the hashtag or the cab name to make the dash box appear once again, then use the up and down arrow keys to quickly audition many cabs. If you know the bank and cab number you can always enter this information directly. One final tip is that you can move through the various settings by hitting the tab key on your keyboard. Shift and tab moves in the opposite direction. Hitting return will toggle the various on off options or it will open the menu. The escape key closes the pop up window. I hope you found these FM3 tips helpful. Using the arrow keys to jump through the various settings makes auditioning sound so much quicker. Using the mouse and constantly opening and closing menus is such a frustrating way of navigating the FM3 via FM3 Edit. So these tips will help you to sculpt your tones much more efficiently and searching for new sounds will be so much more enjoyable. If you did enjoy this video please give it a like and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more FM3 tips and other guitar related videos coming soon. Bye for now.